Hey, what's up everyone? Then watch this video here for Thursday, February 6th. Showing you the spike. Can you believe this? Right back up, sitting right at all time highs. Amazing resilience in this market. For those of you that were not in chat today, um, pretty good day. I'm gonna share a couple things with you for those of you that missed the session today. So Disney, and I made a little video, but a lot of people don't watch my, don't, don't follow me on Twitter or whatever, and don't see my intraday videos that I kind of make with my cell phone real quick. Um, I almost never play these downside shape plays, especially bidding on the way down. Uh, but as I said in the video, I was very comfortable doing that with Disney. Now you can't see it in this chart, but this was basically getting that downside shape change. You know, the PFPDs, remember those? Potential final push down. You had the volume, you had the uh, price kind of getting that. If you connect the tops of the candle, see how that starts to change shape. It wasn't just that. It was um, almost $10 off of its highs for the day. They had earnings, earnings were good. Um, but couple that with, obviously it's Disney, so I felt comfortable. I'm not, I wouldn't do this on a pharma, right? Or I wouldn't do it on some Chinese virus play, um, but it's Disney. And so when I get downside shape, now here's the capper. This, this shape change happened right into the 200 day. Put it out in chat and print, I jumped on the mic and said, guys, this down here below 139, I'm looking for a reversal uh, because it's getting to the 200 day and we've already got that PFPD look, right? I just threw out a bid. I put a bid at 138.73. I think it went down to 138.50 something. I don't think I was ever more than like 20 cents underwater and only for a couple seconds. And you can see it ended up, it ended up going up, um, I don't know, $3 from my entry. Um, really, really nice trade there and a rare one for me, but that, that met everything I teach on uh, the PFPD place, right? Um, real quick, VVUS also. I called it here through the hole number three. We had red to green just above that. It was also a five minute buy setup with red to green, high of day on a morning gap play with good news. And I got like 12 cents out of it, right back down. You know, I sold a chunk and had to kill the rest flat. Um, and then it comes down here. And in a pre-market, again, for those of you that weren't there, I had already said this was my favorite morning gal play, right? Anyway, um, as it starts to come back up through three, Jane puts out the idea basically over this lower high. Uh, VVUS 315 idea, high of day was maybe 316 or 317. Um, and I, I was on the mic and I said, I totally agree with Jane. And then boom, it just ripped. Little flag and ripped again. Um, and that actually, you can't see it in this screen, but I took one more afternoon trade up through 390 later in the day. I had three nice trades in VVUS. That one was very good to me today. So there's a couple of highlights from chat. Um, again, a lot of people in chat got the Disney. If you look at that screenshot, a whole bunch of people got Disney. So that was kind of cool. And then I got to share this with y'all. This has nothing to do with the chat room because I took a trade in after hours on IRBT. Filled at 51.83. And this is, there's no lesson here other than this was just awesome. I love after hours trading. Filled at 51.83 um, and sold at 58.37. I don't know how far apart. I, could, I guess I could look up that. I, I didn't see what time. It wasn't very far. It's a few minutes apart, um, like $5 a share. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, like $8, $7 a share. Yeah, about $7 a share. Anyway, uh, what a cool after hours trade. That was pretty awesome. It happened pretty quick. Um, and that's, you know, we talk about after hours almost being like the Wild West. Um, but man, when you when you uh, when you're right in after hours, you can make some really really quick money. All right. Anyway, I'm done babbling about all that. Let's go into the watch list for Thursday. Remember, as you watch my videos, I am looking for something that could possibly give me an intraday setup. I am not an overnight holder, as you know. I often joke I don't even hold my wife overnight. So Tesla, strongest stock in the whole wide world up until today, right? Now, um, I don't know, if you look at the highs yesterday, what was it, nine six, almost 969? And then, so today it's down at 730, I mean, at 734, that is quite the drop, right? It's huge. Of course, nobody thought Tesla belonged up here, but the reason I'm watching it already, now, you know me, I'd like to see another day down into the buy zone down here between the blue and red line, right? But sometimes the stock is so strong that you get one red day and then it's right back up. So we're gonna put Tesla on watch for that, all right? ICE, I-C-E. Uh, it did hold support here, no trades in it today though, but it's interesting that it topped out right around 94. 
Um, so maybe back up through 94 tomorrow. I want to watch that one. BIMI after the big pop and then the gap in reversal. A couple more red days right down to the eight day. I do like this one for a potential bounce play tomorrow. VVUS, I already talked about this, gave like three trades today. Closed well off its highs, but the volume is going to catch some attention tonight. Maybe we get a red to green in that one tomorrow. PBYI, um, this has already been two big days in a row, so I really think that needs to come in, but I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow. WAFU, I wish this would have closed stronger, um, but it's interesting because it's got like one million or so in the float, and there's a Chinese education, online education company. And I almost think that's a smarter play. And I talked about this in chat a little bit. I almost think that's a smarter way to play the coronavirus, especially in China. I mean, you know, anyone who's got kids in school, you almost can't avoid getting sick from your kids going to school, right? Um, so it's something to think about. I think, uh, and I think in China, they are keeping a lot of kids home from school. Um, I do think this is kind of a neat idea. One million in the float, online education, um, and I thought I heard today that uh, there were more cases in 24 hours of the coronavirus reported than any day yet. So it's not like this thing's gone away. Um, so keep your eyes on WAFU. I like the low float. I like the thesis behind it. And the chart, you know, there's not much to go on. But it has had a couple nice spikes. So we'll see, right? Uh, CLVS. Had a huge move back here, and it's just been grinding lower ever since. But you can kind of, if you put a trend line here in your brain, it's trying to break the trend line to the upside and a little extra volume today. So that one is worth watching tomorrow. BTU, I haven't traded this one in years. What a huge move today, though. Um, 706 to 987 on an intraday basis. I don't even know what the news was, but that was massive uh, volume. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one. OI, you know, nice volume today and a fairly strong close. Uh, you kind of had this island down here, and it's try it tried today to break up into this gap. Um, failed, but you might get a red to green tomorrow and have it continue. Um, MYO, this thing freaks me out, right? Uh, just a recent reverse split, and I almost think that's the only reason it's been running. It went from 718 to 35 yesterday, then, to the, then closes in the 12s, and then opens at 30, <laughs> goes to 40, and I don't know. I don't know what to do with this thing, but um, if I get a low-risk setup, I will take a shot at this thing tomorrow, obviously with small shares. Um, and who knows if you get a low risk setup on something that's acting that crazy. And then lastly, S-O-N-O. -O, um, in after hours, it's trading around 15 and a half. So all the way up here, it might uh, take out the recent highs over 16. Um, they had earnings after hours. So I'm going to keep my eyes on that one as well. And that's it. I'm going to quit babbling. We'll see you all in chat tomorrow.